What's up, everyone? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Marcus Chinoco, Marcelo Garcia, Black Bell Five Time, which I'm big us. Guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. If you're already subscribed, if you're not subscribed yet, please consider subscribe and learn the most details to help you elevate your Jiu Jitsu, okay? So this channel has made a bunch of details for you guys, so take advantage and learn that, okay? So on the lesson today, I'm gonna be focused on overhook control. Once again, thank you for all the requests. So many people are uh, asking about this video and I'm here to make for you guys, okay? So I put some details on Instagram and a lot of went virus. A lot of people asking, that was cool, asking for could break down the details and here we are for you guys, okay? So I'm gonna show you guys maybe four things, three or four things that you can do with the overhook. It's such a good uh, uh, position from close guard when you get the overhook control. And there's so many, there's chokes, there's umbars, there is triangles, and there is sweep, okay? You stay with uh, stay with us and you're gonna see uh, 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 until the end how many options you can do from there, okay? Before we continue the lesson today, make sure you subscribe the channel, like the videos, and comment below. I appreciate your support, big os. So we're gonna start right here on a close guard position where I have met on my close guard. So there's a bunch of ways you can get to the overhook. Sometimes people get like under this arm and overhook from here, get this collar grip. What I like to do here, they're never gonna get me that easy because they also want to push me down, right? So what I wanna do, I wanna go cross grip. Cross grip, maybe if Matt is holding my, my collar or my belt, whatever, I'm gonna go under and get this traditional break grip right here. Break this grip and now pile my hands right in Use my whole body. So now his arm is stuck. So this arm gonna go all the way in, trap immediately, control the collar, and give this grip, four fingers grip in, okay? So what I like to do this, I like to use this grip. Sometimes I like to use a, a thumb down, which is a very strong grip, okay? So this one's easy to get, but this one's hard to break because super, super hard, to, uh, super uh, short grip. So let's go with this one here. Have this grip. Traditional one that I really like right here. So I'm gonna put in order so you guys follow the, the, the connection. The first one, four fingers grip inside. I'm gonna use my knuckles. Yes. I'm gonna use my knuckle right there. I'm gonna make this grip. You can shove it out a little bit and then shake and make four fingers, uh, uh, four fingers grip use my knuckles right there and make this grip tight. Now, all I have to do is extend, it comes faster. So it's gonna go right there and it's very uncomfortable position to go to, to uh, for the person to, to resist. Okay, it's very uncomfortable. I'm just gonna go there and push through it, okay? So I go here, there and push right against. So my knuckle goes right there. So the person tap, so easy on that one, okay? So that's, this one can be good. So let, let's go here, there, you can go here. If this grip is deep enough, sometimes you have a long arms, you can go all the way as deep as you can. Now you can make a four fingers grip right here. So you can make grip and then just go tight up and now scoop and stay tight right there. You can get the cross choke Move this, uh, move the camera this side. So look, you can get a cross choke right there and just sit up and now bring him down, hang your whole weight in that one, okay? So this one might take a little bit longer, but the first one for sure works, okay? I also like to fake the choke to get something else. So same grip, he, gri uh, he, he holds right here, okay? So he holds here. Break this grip, go inside, get this arm, get this grip. Boom. What's gonna happen now? Now I'm gonna start working from the choke. I'm gonna start working to go for the choke right here. What's gonna happen? He gonna start defending. So when I go here, he knows that I wanna go for the, uh, uh, the knuckles choke right there or the crush choke. What I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna keep forcing, he gonna keep pushing this arm away. So what I wanna do, I wanna use my hands up now I'm gonna let go the grip and get this grip right here, the sleeves. It's so easy from the collar to the sleeves. Now I break this grip. 
Now it's gonna be super hard for him to break this grip because I'm gonna hold the elbow, so I'll pull the arm. Now I have a two arm control. What I wanted to do from here, I wanna stop this elbow right in, over my guard, lock my feet, just like this. So from here, I'll go for the choke, he pushes. I'm gonna make him believe that I wanted to choke. I go here, one, break his grip, uh, stop the elbow in, open, lock. My trunk is not locked yet, so now I wanna let go the elbow, now what I wanna do, I wanna transition this grip. So he probably gonna start letting go this arm. I wanna switch my, his arm to this side. Now I really wanted to keep this arm across so he doesn't stack me. Bring my hip down, hold my shin. Now I need to pair. Look how I'm gonna close his shoulder. I don't wanna lock from here, keep his shoulder showing up. I wanna use my inside tight to go there. Now, lock, it's way tight triangle right here, okay? So, hit, push, and go nice and tight, and then finish the triangle right there. With the overhook, you have the choke. From the choke, you can start immigrate to the triangle attack, okay? So, same thing, I'm here, he use this grip, cross grip, it's very important. Get under, break this grip, Get under, trap the collar grip, lock right there. Now what's gonna happen here is, he's gonna start, I'm going here. What I wanted to do here, I wanna go, same thing, push, try to make, a, he know that this is very painful, he gonna start pushing, exactly, make painful, make, make, make uh, try to look more, uh, re, be more realistic. That's what I'm trying to remember. So now, elbow, sleeves, boom. Now I'm gonna bring his elbow across. Instead I'm gonna go for the triangle, look what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna push his head out of the way. Umber, traditional umber for here with this one with the overhook. You don't need the overhook anymore. Goes right there. Bring your hip, the deep that I like for umber. I don't wanna extend my legs. I wanna bring my heels into me. Now I wanna turn towards his head. I want to turn that way. Now the arm is way more tight. Why? Because he cannot push you. Okay? So for the overhook, for the overhook, I'm going to try to fit the choke right there. Look how my hand sneak to the sleeves. Boom. Now this hand goes. You can even do a double grip. Pull. Now you can secure here. Push his head. Take your time. Now details on the arm bar. Bring your heels in, very tight. Do this detail right here. Bring your heels in, secure right on, on top of his thumb right there. Boom, turn, and then, the, the look, and I'm not even doing a, 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 a big move. I'm just gonna do a short move, glue the arm in, umber comes faster, okay? So umber's on this side, okay? Now, the other attack, I can attack the overhook also. Invest in your Jiu-Jitsu today. There is eight amazing instructionals for you to level up. There is three lasso guard instructionals, one for each needs. There is winning double knee position. Everything starts for the knees. There is a half guard plan, how to pass the half guard. There is two amazing close guard, one all about sweeps and one all about submissions. And there is also how to pass the lasso guard. If you want to check it out, go at bjfnatics.com and don't wait. Invest in your Jiu-Jitsu today. Go under, trap here. I can go here. Everything starts from this point, guys. That's my whole point. That's my whole detail right here. Start from these hands. Make him reach for the second hand. He's not gonna like that, trust me. Now, don't worry about this arm. We always saw that. What I wanna do, I wanna open my guard. Hip escape a little bit. Now, let go, keep, the, uh, uh, keep this collar. Bring my knee right in. Very tight, but Marco, he can turn the arm, turn the arm. He can't, because now if there's not the heel turn the arm, he can't. But now since my thigh comes in, now keep weight on top of my elbow, not the shoulder, the shoulder he can turn. Exact, look. Now the detail here is my knee go on top of my elbow. Now turn, he can't, which gives me the time to just smack right there, okay? 
And then from here, for example, one connect to the other. I try there and then by accident, he turned his arm in. I'm up out of position. Don't let go this grip. Here, there, lock, here. And now can transition to the umpada. Let go, sit up, and finish the umpada, okay? And one of my, my final detail here is gonna be the sweep. So there's umbars, there's, there's choke, there's umbars, there's triangles, and there's sweeps, okay? So this one, one of my strong connection, and I learned all this detail, believe it or not, when I was white belt, I swear to God. I learned this detail such a long time ago, but I'm always using because I, I, I like close guard a lot, so I'm always use over under, uh, uh, over hook control. So now let's go here. The last one. Gumarco, what happens if he has the belt grip? Doesn't matter. What, ha what happens is get under, break this grip, slide, trap, gets here, okay? Get this grip, such a tight grip, but he might turn the arm into part. Just hug, readjust, readjust. Here, now he's never gonna pull his arm out. Now, what is gonna happen is, I'm gonna go here again, try to push, exact look, he's already uncomfortable. I'm gonna let go the collar, control the sleeves, see it? Let go the collar, control the sleeves, boom. Tuck his arm in. Now, what I'm gonna do here, I can hold the head, I have everything set up. Opposite side foot goes on the mat, hip escape. Now pay attention, this guy, Palm it in, goes right there, the butterfly hook. Now, what I wanna do here, I wanna use this grip to pull mat round the mat, boom. I start elevating my hook. Now, you guys can see, go that way a little bit. He has only one post. He's laying his shoulders, so try go back mat. He can't because my hook is doing the job. Now, there's only one post, the bottom leg. Chop, you see it? I didn't even go up, I just chopped the legs to so go back up. So from here, left on outside, I chop, elbows on the mat, come up. Benefits of this grip, it's crazy. It just keep going and going. The benefit, benefit of this grip, I can hold Matthew's head. I wanna go pull. Now step over. I'm still holding the sleeves. And then from here, I can let go of the sleeve now. I can lock the triangle or I can just go for the umber right here. So that's what I really love about this, this connection because the attack just keep going and going from bottom, from top, and that's it. So let's go one more time here. Close guard, I break this grip, go inside, trap the arm, secure, bring him down, take your time. Now you need this grip. Otherwise, if I don't have these leads, what's gonna happen? I'm gonna do everything, he might be here. Once I'm about to lift, he stop. Okay, which that way, if that happened, I'm gonna go, I can take this guy out. Triangle. So you keep going, but I like to do something, I like to do everything with control, okay? If it goes wrong, you can still readapt. So go here, break, under, trap, Take the choke right there, he defending, trap the, the sleeve, Let's go here, there, make this grip, pull, hip escape, foot goes under. Now don't rush, you get your side, lift, now chop, come on top, mount position, look, I come up just like this, okay? So I pick his head up, I step over, he cannot open, he try to open the elbow. Even if he open the elbow, I step over the elbow. Now, lock, make him a nice pillow right there, and then go the arm right there, wrist lock, whatever, whatever you can do from there. Those are the things that a lot of people request, and I cannot do this in one minute in a reels at Instagram. So, if you ever see something on Instagram, that you really like, just comment there and say, hey, could you, like, yeah, could you break down with more details this situation? I'll be happy to, to share with you guys, okay? So those are the, the details that I really like. I say, I told you guys four, I mentioned way more than four right there because we won't connect to the other, but these are the toppings. Overhook, uh, overhook control from close guard. So this control, I, I, I do believe that uh, uh, you can, use from white to black belt 
if you really have a good close guard this is your connection to use against anybody in any high level I, I i promise you that works really well okay and if you like to uh, um if you like this video make sure you subscribe comment give a thumbs up and help us grow the channel okay so but if you don't like it you don't have to subscribe just to be real okay so this channel is made for you so make sure you check it out uh if you'd like to check it out also my uh instructionals at bgj fanatics i'm gonna leave the link right here in the description of this video so make sure you check it out so thank you so much